Venturing beyond the cosmopolitan city core and its residential pockets is the historic heart of the city, simply known as Old Montreal. The well-preserved architecture reveals an old world charm with cobblestone streets and old stone facades. Okay, you history buffs, Montreal was founded in 1642. The French settlement became the fur trading capital of North America. Montreal's historic city center is exceptional. This is one of my favorite cities in the world. It's also one of the oldest continuously settled parts of North America. I'm in Montreal. And look at my room. It's in Old Town, which is like the most gorgeous town. It's just so nice. Obviously, it's a French-speaking part of Canada. It's very, it feels very European. I tell all my friends, Montreal is like this weird mix of Canada and Europe put together. Think a cosmopolitan city with European flair and an edgy Brooklyn attitude. The next best thing to Paris, minus the flight. But Montreal isn't Paris, and it doesn't want to be. I think the city is in a league of its own. One thing about Montreal, the scenery is crazy. Look at the old buildings and stuff, it's crazy. This is what Toronto needs, we don't have. Montreal is 151 years older than Toronto. Whoa, dude. I love my hometown of Toronto, but Montreal definitely has more charm. Originally colonized in the 17th century by the French, it was then conquered by the British in the second half of the 18th century. Old Montreal is a two square mile area filled with four centuries of architecture. Celebrating one of the most romantic eras of architectural history. We're gonna explore the old Montreal, which is very romantic, very beautiful. Everything just feels so romantic and historical. Okay, so we're now walking around Old Montreal or Paris. That whole street's really pretty, the architecture up there. Oh wow. We're in Paris, I mean Montreal. We're in Paris, this is amazing. The buildings are beautiful. It's like we're in France, guys. Like it's such an aesthetically pleasing place. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it really is so pretty. How is this real? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Baby, we're in Paris. Yeah. It's the Paris. <laughs> really, really a European feeling. You can't imagine this in America. I haven't seen any place like this in America. Have you? Yeah. No, I have not. Yeah, it's like France in here. The uh, buildings here are fun. amazing. The architecture of these buildings is absolutely beautiful. It reminds us a lot of Paris. Unlike what many of you probably think, most of the buildings were built by the English, not the French. If you go to London or Scotland, you will see a lot of these kind of buildings. Because of the influence of the Scots and the English, well, the British in general, you'll find that a lot of the buildings do date back more from the period that the British were here than, than the French. A lot of the buildings here remind me of Chelsea in London. Definitely Manchester vibes. It's gonna make me feel like I was in England. Jesus. From our tour guide, we learned that this is actually old Glasgow. Exactly. So Scotland. It looks like something from Harry Potter. It looks like Hogwarts. And Canadians just pass by it like, and eh, whatever. And we're like, oh my God. Yeah, this place has a lot of epic buildings. It's more like in London. It reminds me so much of New York, but prettier and it doesn't smell as bad. It looks like Prague. Both of the lanes, they resemble Prague completely. It looks just like Croatia. Like everything is cobblestone and everything is just so pretty. I'm obsessed with Montreal. So pretty. It's pretty awesome, I gotta say. It's very cool to see the old town. Something like that in North America is very, very rare. It's cool that they were able to preserve this. Oh my god, can I live here? Can I live here and speak French? Damn, this city has some very nice streets that I have to slowly zoom into. So we got the St. Paul Street. It's the oldest street in Montreal. It was paved in 1672. For a long time, it was, it was like a main street. This is so cool. I just love these little streets. No? Yeah, they're so beautiful. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful! Like it's street on street and the buildings are just so gorgeous. If you come here guys, you'll have a bunch of shopping and cool stores you can go into. These once warehouse shops along the port are now hip art gallery shops and restaurants. So there's boats actually down there. This is really a port city and old Montreal was like the center of all of this economic activity. Including many of the old bank buildings that used to be a part of the largest financial district in Canada. They're still beautifully preserved. It's really spectacular to walk past them. They are definitely some of the most beautiful buildings we have in North America. So pretty, so many. Whoa. A lot of music is going on in the street. It's so beautiful. Super romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. 
When you walk down Old Montreal, you see these buildings that have like a two-tone brick layer. The bottom is all like the original stone from probably hundreds of years ago and all the new stuff. It's kind of cool how they kept the tradition and kept the old stone and kind of built on top of it. But sometimes you only get pieces of it, some walls, some, you know, a gate somewhere. And you try to put it together like a puzzle piece and it's just, it's so interesting. You can tell how old this wall is. The stone is extremely old. It's when they settled from France. It looks like a house right there. Yeah. And then higher up, you can see the black line where the secondary building was. Where the tar was. roof was. And Whoa. then now there's the newest building. Look how old it is, man. Did you think that I had this music in the background as a soundtrack? No. This shit is all live. Uh. Every single time I come here, there's always something cool going on, like this bride and groom walking down the pretty cobblestone streets and a whole parade following them. Love it. Carlin found so many art galleries. So we just went to this art gallery and I've had an experience that I have never had before. <laughs> the painting made me emotional and I wanted to cry. I, I'm, what, is it, what is the word first when you don't have words? Hungry. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces in here that you guys have to see. This is the first time I've ever seen art meets technology. He's actually French Canadian, François Boutet. He had this amazing career as a graphic designer, but the thing is, he wasn't able to create really what he had in mind, and so it took him five years to develop. Culture is the big word here. You have more art per square inch than probably anywhere else in the world. Yep, we are the province that spends the most on the arts. Arts are very important to us. I don't know, it's just very, very authentic, nice, enriching, which I'm finding extremely artistic, refreshing, and inspiring at the same time. So we're coming up on the main square. It's so cute here. I'm in love. This is really cool. I love Montreal. How did we miss all this? We've never, <laughs> this is our first time coming over here. This is beautiful. So now we're in Place Jacques Cartier, which uh, if you come to Old Montreal, this is where the party is. This is where everybody is gathered. There are street performers drawing. I don't think I've ever seen a higher concentration of caricature artists anywhere in the world. It takes its name from the first European explorer and navigator credited with setting foot on the island. It is so nice here. This is totally unexpected. I just got stopped on the street as I was making my video. I just found a Mexican fan of mine. What's up? Hey, what's up, Dan? What do you think of life in Montreal? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna okay. spend here maybe one more month. I was just telling Hello. them it's a very like European city, right? Especially this part Especially of the city yeah. is so European. It's amazing. Look at this. This is so pretty. So many of you t have told me to come to Old Montreal, specifically to go down the side streets. This is so nice. Look at it, it's so cute. And look at these flowers up there. I actually just found like a fruit market, so I think we're gonna head there. When I was little and I used to go on field trips, I remember this was always like one thing that the kids would always get. They pour maple syrup over ice, and you literally have Canadian ice maple syrup popsicle. So good, bro. At the top of Place Jacques Cartier, the Nelson Monument. Look at that column. Oh, that's a great statue at the top. Interesting fact, it's the oldest monument in all of Canada. Erected in 1809. I had to do a double take when I saw this column. Horatio Nelson, victor over the French, and this is in Montreal, a French-speaking city. Our Trafalgar Square. Just like in Trafalgar Square in London, but here in Montreal, he's facing the wrong way. This is a statue put up before the one in Trafalgar Square in London. The student admiral, he should be facing the river, but he's facing land and a French captain. It's everywhere you go in Montreal, you're going to see this duality of English-French, English-French. That and you never want to have the English and French back to back anyway. <laughs> It is so nice here, guys. Look at that awesome building. There's another quite epic building in front of us. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Montreal City Hall. Really love the architecture. Built between 1872 and 1878 and later rebuilt after a fire in 1922, it was modeled after the City Hall in Tours. God, what a beautiful city this is. I'm loving this architecture. Fun fact about this building, it was in an X-Men movie. Check this out, this is a historical house museum. We are now standing in front of Chateau Ramsey, 
built in 1705. It is an historical monument, one of Montreal's oldest buildings. Fun fact, Benjamin Franklin stayed here. One of the well-preserved and grandest rooms in the chateau, the Salle de Nantes, hand-carved mahogany panels that were recovered from a former mansion in France dating from 1725. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. So many different centuries you feel like you're walking through. One of the oldest, neatest buildings is this one. The house dates back to 1725, and for about six months, Benjamin Franklin stayed here because he was trying to recruit the French to fight against the British. He spoke French, that's why they brought him in, and he was really good friends with Pierre de Calvet. He ended up bringing a printing press, and with a hundred other Montrealers in this house, they founded a newspaper which still exists today and is the oldest newspaper in North America called the Montreal Gazette. I know you don't believe this. The oldest still functioning restaurant in Montreal, L'Auberge de Saint Gabriel, 1754. It's still open. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Wait, why is the Dublin Custom House here? Did we just walk all the way to Ireland? So now we are in front of Marché Bon Secours. Isn't it pretty? Yes, Montreal is pretty. The Marché Bon Secours was built in 1847. It operated as Montreal's first public market for over a hundred years. Modeled after the Dublin Custom House in Ireland, it is also set right along the water, rising up from the island for a very specific purpose. The majesty of the building must impress upon the traveler's mind an overwhelming image of the beauty and importance of the flourishing city of Montreal. Mission accomplished. Today, it's a National Historic Site of Canada. It looks spectacular, and it's one of the most iconic buildings in Montreal, so when you look at photos and that, it's always on there. Quite the day, man. Our friend proposed to his longtime girlfriend. vacation here in a few weeks to Montreal, really romantic city. It's our first time being there. She makes me so much better as a person. So I want to do something special for her and surprise her here. I hired this photographer. We're going to go walking on some like romantic cobblestone street. And there's this old beautiful church. The photographer's going to act like a tourist, just taking photos. She's going to get us in the right frame. I'll uh, get my little spiel and wish me luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, made it to the square where the basilica is. There are a few people here. We have this beautiful square. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. I love this place. This is called Place d'Armes. Place d'Armes is the second oldest public square here in Montreal. It was named Place d'Armes in 1721, and today it is the perfect spot to see three centuries worth of building styles just by turning around in a circle. To begin, we have over here, this was the very first stone structure ever built in Montreal. This is the Sulpician Priest Seminary. This is the oldest still standing building in the city. How old? This dates back to the 1680s. Still lived in by the priests. They're actually still in so there. So they're in there right now? They're in there right now. Just on over here a little ways, we have the Bank of Montreal. That's of course a very neoclassical design. The first bank in Canada. And then over here, I love this one. You see that red building? That, believe it or not, was the very first skyscraper built in Montreal. First building in Canada with an elevator. And just over to the right, obviously an Art Deco style building built in the 1920s. That building right there looks like the building from Ghostbusters that, you know, the Mr. Jet Puff was on. And the piece de resistance, as they say here in Montreal, we have Notre Dame Basilica built in the 1820s. We are outside Notre Dame. I love the energy of this city. How amazing. This is so cool. Oh, it's very nice. I don't know. Something about it. Peaceful. Very peaceful here. In general, I like cities that have culture and character. And I think Montreal has both. 
We've got these statues over here. Man with the funny looking nose, he's carrying an English pug. English man looking at the French institution with a funny nose sticking up in the air. On the opposite corner, French lady, and she is carrying a French poodle, looking at the English institution, sticking her nose up at it. The artist is making sort of commentary here because the noses are so exaggerated. In Montreal, if the English think they're better than the French, or the French stick their noses up at the English, it's not what they really feel, it's a mask that they're wearing. Oh, I love that. And is that sort of sum up maybe a little bit of Montreal? Absolutely. Even more so, the dogs represent Montreal today because the English dog, the French dog, are just looking at each other and they just want to play together. Oh, I love that! We love Montreal! Let's check out the Notre Dame Basilica. This is the beautiful Notre Dame. Basilic Notre Dame. Say it. Basilic Notre Dame. Jesus, she says it's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> it was dedicated in 1829. It's supposed to be amazing, gorgeous. About 11 million visitors every year. This is where Celine Dion actually got married. However, if you want to get married here, you'll be on a waiting list for two years. I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. I've seen quite a few churches and cathedrals and this is just, it, it strikes you like as soon as you walk in. As soon as I walked in, the color and design of the main altar immediately grabbed my attention. I've been to churches all over the world, but it was unlike anything I've seen before. Wow, this is amazing. This is wild. One of the most beautiful church considered in the whole world. I mean, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? All of the art that was put into building this is just astonishing. It's so humbling to be in a place where it was built so many centuries ago and it's so beautiful. I could safely say that this is the most beautiful church I have seen. Oh, really? And yes. you've seen a lot. I've seen, I've seen a lot. We've been to Vatican. We've been to Vatican, I know. When I'm older, I definitely want to live in a French culture. Like, this is just beautiful. I love hearing the French language. French culture knows how to slow down and enjoy their lives. With older styles of architecture also comes older ways of living. And like, not such a fast-paced, go-go-go society. It's so nice here. It's just so chill. It's a wonderful place, Montreal. It's not what I expected. It's all just really old and tasteful and clean and everything. Old Montreal, you're classy. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys are classy here. We're literally obsessed with old Montreal. If you're from Montreal, if you know Montreal, then you know what we're talking about. It's so beautiful here, but you know, 20 years ago, it didn't look like this down here. Well, this neighborhood was completely different. It used to be, let's say, run down. It just wasn't in style to be in these old stone buildings. As times change, because it is packed with people. There's great people watching here. Today, old Montreal has experienced such a revival. Thanks to the ingenuity of city planners and entrepreneurs, this district continues to thrive because of efforts made to reuse and repurpose historic structures. And that is but a brief overview of what proves to be four centuries worth of charming, delightful, and sometimes unique architecture built during the reign of two very different and distinct empires. So, what do you guys think of the old town? It's gorgeous. It's better than home. Yes, it's I mean, better than home. I thought it might just get close to what we have back home, but this one is way more better. Like, really, really beautiful and welcoming. generally a magnificent city and that's just day one. <laughs>